I love cheap subwoofers. You know what's better than just a cheap subwoofer? A cheap subwoofer with a box. Now, I already did that. Didn't turn out too well. But you know what's better than a cheap subwoofer with a box? An infinite baffle subwoofer. Now, if you don't know what an infinite baffle subwoofer is, let me explain it to you. Basically, it's you are the box. Unlike a traditional subwoofer where there is an inside of the box which helps amplify the sound and you are outside of the box, the inside of your house is basically the inside of the box and the outside of the house is the outside of the box. So it amplifies the bass a lot and it actually ends up being more powerful than my not as cheap subwoofer that I have, the build process. Let's see, big piece of cardboard, cut up the cardboard, hot glue the cardboard together because it's really weak and it's cardboard, put the speaker into the cardboard, use zip ties because I didn't learn my lesson last time, and then hot glue everything around the speaker to try and make sure that no air gets through, hot glue those holes where the zip ties go through to also try and make sure that no air goes through, put the subwoofer in the window, take off my curtain because it's really annoying, and it's time for a test. But first, an open air test. I recommend wearing headphones or using good speakers to actually hear the bass. So, conclusion, very good. I could hear it from outside of my room. Can't do that without the infinite baffle because this speaker's really bad. Like and subscribe.